Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Warren Gatland has named his Wales 23 to take on the Springboks this week, Saturday, uh, just by an hour after Rusty Rasmus officially released his team to uh, take on uh, Wales in the Qatar Airways Cup Saturday at Twickenham. Uh, we will have somebody there. We will have press conferences. We will have all the build up throughout the week. It's set to be a really interesting clash. Both teams without several players due to the game taking place outside of the official international window. Therefore, no players from the top 14 and the Premiership and certain URC teams are involved for, for both sides. And as a result, a couple of very big names missing out on both sides of the uh, of the of the of the, the team list. Um, but still some very good players on display in both the Springboks as well as obviously the Welsh side, which is a very much a building uh, Wales side. And uh, very interested to see how uh, how they go about the, their business. And if you look at uh, we can look at the cap stuff like that. Very inexperienced, really. If you're being brutally honest, uh, throughout the entire sort of a Wales. Um, it's a team. So before we look at the Wales side, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is how they will line up. In the front row, it will be Gareth Thomas, Dewey Lake, and Henry Thomas. Henry Thomas playing just his fifth game for Wales. Dewey Lake, by the way, will captain the side in what is his 13th appearance. The second row will feature Matthew Screech from the Dragons, as well as Ben Carter, also not the most experienced players. Matthew Screech making just his second appearance. No Daft Jenkins, for example. No Adam Beard involved. Uh, Jack Morgan, by the way, ruled out with injury. Has been released for the squad, so a couple of big names there missing. If we then look at the loose trio, though, a big plus for Warren Gatlin is the return of Tane Blundry, who was out of six days with injury, and he returns to make his third cap. James Botham comes in, and Aaron Wainwright, so Mr. Reliable, comes into the side. He is uh, the second most experienced player in that starting lineup after Liam Williams, so a very important player for Warren Gatlin's, uh, Gatlin. If you look at uh, the... the uh, Scrum off, uh, it will be Ez Bevan, who will make his debut next to Sam Costello. Very exciting time for Ez Bevan, the Cardiff young, um, young scrum off, who's uh, been very good this season. And uh, you can see I mean, Warren Gatton very much looking to give players a chance. 24 years old, um, is, is, is a nice player, and uh, gets that opportunity. Sam Costello, we all know, that he's basically been back to the Wales number um, 110, and is going to get more opportunities in the coming months. Uh, the back three, it's a good back three. Rio Dyer, uh, Liam Williams, and Cameron Winner. Cameron Winner, I think for me, was... The find of the Six Nations for, for Wales was absolutely tremendous. Under the high ball, nice, uh, good attacking, counter-attacking fullback. Um, and uh, Liam Williams making that return, you know, since making the move to Wales. Uh, he's got 89 caps to his name. So, I mean, we all know the experience Liam Williams does bring. Uh, and then in the centre, there will be Owen Watkin next to Mason Grady. The very exciting Mason Grady, who's played a lot on the wing for Wales. Gets an opportunity at centre. A very talented player. And I think if Wales are to, to become competitive again, I think he'll be a large part of that. Uh, off the bench, it will be Evan Lloyd, Kevin Simatized, uh, Kieran Azarati, very inexperienced front row, literally 10 caps between the three players there. You've then got uh, James Ratty, who's uncapped. Mackenzie Martin, very exciting young player there as well. Very cool story surrounding him with his three caps. Garrett Davies, being all the experience off the bench, really, uh, with his 76 caps. Eddie James, also uncapped, as is Jacob Beetham. So, uh, handing out lots of caps this weekend is Warren Gatlin. Uh, you expect then for the Springboks to really beat the side, to be honest, but... As mentioned in the in, in the Springbok game, uh, or Springbok, Springbok team announcement uh, video, if you look at like the last few matches between these two sides, they've not been particularly high scoring. Um, and then and generally are usually quite close. I do think that they're two teams in very different stages. Um, you know, I think that uh, Wales are, are very much building um, and sort of starting again, whereas, you know, the, the Springboks being sort of world champions are very much in, in a situation where they've they've got their squad, a settled squad, and now it's about adding to that squad. And uh, updating the squad, really, I suppose, and, and building for the next one as opposed to sort of starting from scratch, which is kind of what Warren Gatlin is almost sort of trying to do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't particularly see it being too too strong. If you look at the press relief, for example, three debuts off the bench. Um, the big news, is, again, is Jack Morgan had a hamstring injury uh, is, is a really big uh, loss for them. I think that he would have been captain the side. Um, he'll not take part in any of the Wales fixtures in the summer. So, I mean, an amazing player. He didn't play in the sixth day. He's now not going to play... Uh, in this in this game or in the the I think it was the Australia series either. So frustrating time for a very very talented player in Jack Morgan. Something I love watching. But uh, what are your thoughts on this team? Let me know down in the comments below. If you have any early score predictions, let me know as well. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.